So these uh, are the site photographs, the panoramas. Um, this is looking back up towards uh, your parents' place on the left. This is the little hollow um, at the bottom of the site. This is where I think uh, we should be thinking about siting the building. If you look at that point there, we have the ruin of Overton Cotton Mill. And when you're down on site, it's actually far more impressive than you can get from these photographs. So this is a little sketch that I did on site, standing at that point. And you kind of have this nice um, valley with the, the hills on either side coming down to a point where you have this gable in the distance. I would position the dining room uh, pointing, its geometry pointing directly towards that so that you, you can imagine you get the setting sun uh, at some point of the year really framing and nailing that view. And on the ground what you see here is a, is a terracing of the floor plan to fall with the natural contours and I'm suggesting that you would have the upper level being a living space that would uh, look towards the west. The middle terrace would be your dining area angled towards the mill and the lower space, the lower terrace will be your kitchen uh, area which looks more to the south. So uh, in the afternoon your your midday sun will, uh, will will work with your kitchen and it'll move around then to, uh, you know as the sun sets. This next diagram, um, the long line extending to the bottom of the page is that view towards the mill and it comes through your dining area. And then to the top left of that page you see these kind of little steps idea. So that's the approach to the house. And the idea and this big thick line that that meets is a retaining wall that basically the whole house is hidden behind that retaining wall and uh, to the right hand side of that plan diagram you are seeing the cellular arrangement of bedrooms so the bedrooms all work towards the east and the rising sun um, and then the kind of irregular shapes uh, on the bottom left um, are your living your kitchen dining living working with the sun as it moves around the building uh, this plan is just a satellite Google map image showing, showing uh, kind of the, the, the building positioned roughly uh, on, on the field um, down close to that group of trees on the southern boundary. This image at the bottom of the uh, image shows the interrelationship of the three spaces. On the left you have your living space, in the middle dining, on the right your kitchen space. And this plan is to scale, so it shows uh, the, the corridor extending away on the right uh, where all the bedrooms and private spaces are. In the middle of the plan you have the plant room, bathroom, utility room, all those kind of core spaces that don't need uh, direct uh, windows looking out. Um, and again, the arrangement I mentioned before of the living spaces fanning out to the kind of uh, west. And I suppose to the north of that living space you have another area of wall that is screen. That could be where the garage is positioned later on in phase two. So that works, uh, it ties into that angular wall that kind of reaches out into the landscape. And you'll see I've gone for a single story building rather than two story building. So that's one of the reasons why our costs are going a little bit higher than originally projected. Uh, you asked for a building that is not terribly visible from the road. So for that reason, a, a low lying single story building uh, nestled into the uh, contours of the site is going to give you a you know, very discreet uh, building. This is a fly through video. On the right hand side here you have this wall that reaches towards you in the landscape. Behind that would be the garage at a later stage. Front door entrance, we turn to the left that long corridor, you'll see it in the plan there. That re all the bedroom doors will be off to the right, there'll be a nice roof light over that. We move down the steps into the open plan space we're looking down at the lower level where the kitchen is in front of you with some sort of a roof light detail over it. Uh, then we move back to where the dining area is. We turn around, look out across that terrace and at the end of that perspective you'll be seeing the, um, the mill in the distance. And then up to the upper level of the terrace we have the living area which is facing west to setting sun. Sliding out of the building and looking at it from outside um, you see the range of the terraces stepping down with the landscape. 
uh, in front of you here you have a terrace so the dining area will work out uh, onto an external patio uh, and rotating around the building um, on that uh, facade there on the left we're going to have some vertical uh, screens that will help give you privacy from the houses lower down in the valley these bedrooms as I said face east and looking at the roof plan you can kind of see how the whole geometry works and there's these walls reaching out into the landscape and a series of terraces falling down into that hill.